Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and you can hear some scratching in the background. That's um, a bearded dragon, but we'll just be showing the dung beetles today. Yeah, so the main focus will be the dung beetles. Since we have all nine out, we want to check to see if they're all alive. They are. They mm -hmm. still don't really move around too much unless they're in soil or humid areas. So that's why they don't really move around. It seems like they're starting to move around, like those three are moving around a tiny bit. This one was moving around a bit earlier, it is now. Eclipse hasn't moved this whole time. Yeah, so Eclipse is a male, a and I named him after my first, uh, my second favorite car, the Mitsubishi Eclipse. Um, and then, I guess it kind of looks like, like a crescent moon shape as horn. Um, but yeah, the way you can tell it, um, that Eclipse is a male, obviously the horn, and right here, it's more pointed. The females all seem to have like a round uh, pronotum. Eclipse also seems to be slightly lighter. I don't know if the camera will pick that up, or or if it's just the angle of that map, but Eclipse seems to be slightly brighter than the rest of them. Right here. So there's all nine of them. So I think, it, I'm pretty sure Eclipse is the only male. So none of them have, none of the other ones really have horns. Uh, this one has a little stub right there. But I don't know if that's really a horn, it's more just like a little stub. It could be a male, but... Um, yeah, this one's a male. Yeah. But the major males are the ones with the big horns, and Eclipse is a major male. And they're a lot um, more rare. Yeah, Here's then, both of them. Surprisingly, Eclipse isn't the biggest. This is the biggest one right here, this female. You hear that one? Yeah, they're all pretty cool. They're like $9 each. and got nine of them, so $49 plus shipping and what we got for the Harlequin Beetles and everything else. Um, they spend most of the day burrowed. They only really come out um, random times, mainly just to eat. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Anything else you want to say, or do you want to end the video here? Well, sometimes they will try to get in between your fingers when holding them because they like to burrow. So beetles who like to burrow or hide a lot will sometimes do this. Yeah. Dung beetles are the strongest animal to ever exist for their size, so they're really tough. They can move pretty big objects, even that log that's in their enclosure. I think I saw like three of them working together, and it seemed like they're trying to move it. It's pretty crazy how they did that. Well, I've seen one move it by itself. This is the smallest out of all of them. We have, we've only named Eclipse since all of them look so similar, but these two right here are very different from the rest of the females. It's the largest, it's the smallest, we might name those two as well. We don't know about the rest of them, though, so at least three of them would have names. Um, but yeah, they're pretty cool beetles. Then if you didn't know um, already, Big Bob unfortunately died um, like a few days ago. I think he was on, like, Sunday. So that's pretty sad. And Ed, um, we've had him for, like, four and a half months now, which is way longer than he should live. I read online that they're only supposed to live three months, so either that's wrong or Ed just special. Yep, yeah, but and all... here are all of them again. So yeah, Eclipse is my favorite because he's a male, but probably the most unique. Yeah, I think they're all, overall is really cool. I wouldn't have guessed they'd be so small. They looked a lot bigger in the videos, but I think it's cool how that they're small like this. And yeah. Even though they're small, they're still really strong beetles. Even though they are small, I feel like the size would make sense for them. Yeah. Other than Ed and Bob, they are probably the strongest beetles we have. They f feel a lot stronger than like a stink beetle. I don't think a stink beetle can't just push your fingers out of the way like these guys can. Even ironclads can't do that. Bob could barely do that. So, these guys are just really, really tough little beetles. Some of my favorites. Unfortunately, they only live like three months, I think. It's around the same as Ed. They might live longer or shorter than that, because we don't know how old they are when we got them. But, uh, hopefully they do live for a while. We, we're lucky with Bob and Ed. Um, so, hopefully we're lucky with these guys too, and the Harlequins. So those are the only guys we have to really worry about dying really soon, since... The Blue Deaths live like like 10 years, and the Stink Beetles I heard live for like 4 years or more. Although we've never had um, any of the Beetles for that long. 
Um, but we'll see which will be the longest living beetle we'll have. So far, it's Stony, which is also our, our, um, one of our first beetles we've proper, properly captured. He's in our first video we've made, too. So, yeah, overall, really cool beetles. They, um, bugs in cyberspace doesn't sell them too often. It seems like they're more rare, or only come out at a certain time. They come out at spring. Yeah, most beetles do. We also have a little bear collection, which, and we only really find those during the spring. And the Harlequins I've only seen go for sale during the spring, so it seems like the spring is like the best time to start looking for bugs, which makes sense. Well, that's it for this video. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.